Howdy y'all. Hey, I uh, got back out to the Prairie Dog Town with that little 17 HMR Savage 93R, I believe it's called. And uh, things started out, you know, pretty good, but uh, man, if the wind picks up even at the slightest little bit, it can really push that bullet around if you're trying to shoot at any distance. Anyway, uh, the fall is in the air and uh, the wind's starting to move around a little bit. You can probably see the apples behind me just really been coming out of the tree. Well, I decided to take that little 17 Savage uh, 93R out to the range to see how I did on some eggs. I set one up there at 100 yards and blew it to smithereens. And then the next one's about 130 yards. And I think I splashed the dirt right in front of it. It didn't really just blow it all to heck and beyond, so... Anyhow, uh, then I thought I'd try one out at 165 yards, and I knew at that point I better be holding a little high. I actually think I got the darn thing. So anyway, I saddled up and got on out to Prairie Dog Town. A little overwatch. It's probably a couple of hundred yards across this uh, Prairie Dog Town, and I'm kind of up on one uh, ridge. Now this first one comes out and he's pretty much out in the open. Pretty, I think all these are going to be adults. And uh, I get real steady on him. I'm thinking, man, if I can hit an egg, I ought to be able to hit this big old fat guy. So I get, get in on him. He's probably about, oh, 145 yards, I would say. Sure enough, it waxed him pretty good. Wasn't too much longer and a young fawn came out. I guess it's a fawn or a yearling. It's already late in the year, so it's lost its spots. But uh, I don't know if it saw me or just thought maybe I was a bush or whatever and didn't really care much about it. So it just kind of moseyed on, on off. Now this next prairie dog is uh, it's pretty close to 165 yards. Do you know I hit that egg? I probably should have held up high on it, but I'm holding right on it. And man, I don't know if I hit low there or what. I think maybe I hit a little bit low and a little bit left, but uh, it stayed up there and it was trying to give me another shot. <clears throat> And if I'd really steadied up and got on it, I think I might have been able to hit it. I don't know, but it uh, seems like before I could get on it, it ends up going back down its hole. So I missed the opportunity on that one. Now this one's right by the road. So I'm going to try it before it gets on road. Man, and I, I think I hit, I don't know, a little high it looked like. Uh, seemed like both... Both times I've missed so far have uh, been maybe just a little left, maybe high and low. But anyway, that prairie dog got on the road. I couldn't shoot at it because there's a, I don't know, gravel on the road. So I'm waiting for him to get off on the side and uh, I get steadied up on him and he's going to give me another shot. Man. That one hit just to the left of him. And I guess he's probably out at, I don't know, maybe 150 yards, something like that. And before I can get on him again, he gets down a hole over there on the other side of the road. Now this one's probably, I don't know, 155 yards, I think. So I'm really trying to get steady because he's a long, tall, skinny guy in the grass so I'm really trying to do my best to get you know really zeroed in on him I, somehow I'm thinking if I zoom in too much maybe that's what's making me miss so I zoom in and then I zoom back a little bit but uh, I get the crosshairs right on his shoulder steady as a rock sure enough 
that drops him right over. This one here is, uh, man, he's giving me a perfect shot. I'm thinking, man, I can't miss this, can I? This is about 160 yards away. And uh, I think I get spooked on this one and try to, yeah, back out just a little bit. I should have just left it right where it was. But anyway, I get steadied up on him. He can't ask for a better shot from a prairie dog. He's definitely doing his part. He even turns his back and just dares me to shoot him in the back. Man, I'd be darned if I didn't miss a little high and a little left. <clears throat> but he doesn't, doesn't totally disappear. He kind of runs down his hole, and then I guess curiosity kills the cat. So it, he kind of sticks his head back up, and he's looking around like, man, what was that? So I get steadied in on him. Right over the top of his head. Now this one here is, he's really kind of got some brush, an old uh, cedar tree that's kind of just right on the edge of it. So and there I am backing out off the zoom again, thinking, oh, oh, oh man, maybe that's what's making me miss. I don't know, but man, right to the left of that guy. I don't see how I can hit an egg and then shoot at this guy at probably 150 yards and you know I could bust an egg but he gives me a second shot I still missed him so I get on him again this time I'm gonna hit him but it doesn't totally blow him away he falls down the hole and I go look for him he's gone well, I think we probably both agree I really ought not be quitting my day job and trying to become a prairie dog exterminator. I, I, I really thought I was going to do better than I did, but anyway, I got a few, so. Uh, but I have been looking at another gun that uh, it's made by Savage. It's got that little AccuTrigger. It's got a Boyd's thumb hole stock on it, stainless steel bull barrel. I'm not sure exactly what the model of it is, but it's a... Uh, Still chambered in that 17, but it's a 17 Winchester Super Magnum. I think it's got a little more power to reach out there, and if it does connect, then, you know, it's going to punch them a lot harder. I think it's, you know, 800 feet per second faster as far as the round goes, and uh, they do make the uh, non-lead bullets with, for that uh, particular uh, cartridge, so I'd keep the landowner happy. And... Uh, Anyway, I'm going to go take a look at it. Uh, I, th I think the rifle I have and the scope I have is capable of, you know, reaching out there and doing it. But uh, like I saw on that last dog, you know, it hit him. Uh, but he still fell over and went down a hole. When I went up and looked down a hole, I couldn't find him. So he must have drug himself down in there or something. So I'd really like to find something that's got a little punch to it. And uh, I don't know if it'll connect any better. I'm going to do my best to, you know, try and get in that at least one MOA. It's... Uh, I think if you're if you're not in with the one in MOA club or whatever, you you're really gonna have some trouble shooting at prairie dogs out at any distance. But uh, anyway, I appreciate your patience and uh, thanks for watching. Don't forget to like, subscribe, and share.